Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. I'm gonna show you how to create a perspective text. So without much ado, let's get started. I will make this image available so you can practice on your own. With your image open, you want to go ahead and type in the text that you want. So I'm gonna pick my type tool and I'm gonna go ahead and type in and I'm going to highlight the smash and I'm going to change the color. I'm gonna pick a red, like a deep red. I'm gonna click OK. I want to go ahead and increase it. So click on your move tool, activate your transform or click on command T or control T if you are on Windows to activate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale it. We wanna make a copy of our text. So click on your text layer, hold down command and click on the thumbnail of your text. Command C to make a copy, command D to deselect. Now we wanna turn off the visibility of our layer. So just turn off the eye and we wanna add a layer in between our text and the background image. So click on the background image and then click on your plus icon to add a new layer. So we want to go under filter and then choose vanishing point. Now a window opens up for you. So with this window open, you want to make sure that you click on your create plane tool and you're just going to gauge and draw the perspective Perspective plane drawn. We want to paste the text that we copied. So command V to paste your text. Now you can drag your text and bring it into the perspective plane. Now, if you want to increase the size of your text, you want to click on your transform tool. And then you realize it activates your text for you at the four corners. And you can go ahead and you can scale, move this down and scale it even further and move this down. So once you're satisfied, you want to go ahead and click OK. So we want to put the text behind our subject. Now, the easiest way to do this is that you want to first of all turn off your text and click on your background layer. We're going to click on our quick selection tool, click on select subject. We want to turn back on our text perspective and we want to create the inverse of our selection. So you want to go up to selection and click on inverse. So now we don't have a selection of the subject, but everything around the subject. Now click back on your perspective text and add a layer max. So to finish it off, click on your perspective text. Now change the blend mode to overlay. Now the other thing that you need to do to make it look very realistic is that we're going to double click on our text layer and we'll bring up the layer style. Now below is the blend if option. We want to go under the underlining layer and we want to split the underlining on the white side and we're just going to take it till we begin to see the color bleeding into the concrete to give it a realistic look. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. This is a very cool technique that you can use if you have um, a text that you wanna put on anything that is a perspective. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.